A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shrivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So, along with Eva Mendes, I welcome you to the technical tip. Though she is not here physically. So, in we are in the virtual space. So, she is actually a witness to this video and with this beautiful conky displayed on the desktop. Let's start with the technical things. So, what's in this video? In this video, I'm going to tell you or explain you the benefit of using SFTP. What is SFTP? Let me explain you. Uh, I have jotted down some small notes for you. Like, so uh, suppose my idea is just to allow the users in my company to download or upload some files. So I can use FTP. No doubt, no issues. But the problem with the FTP is that we know that it transfer entire transmission T R A N S entire transmission in the plain text which is against the security policies and that also makes FTP very vulnerable what to do the one option can be I can give him SSH access so that he can just do SSH or he can use SCP also but one better solution can be to allow SFTP access secure file transfer protocol the benefit is that SFTP makes the entire transmission encrypted including authentication information that is not being done by the FTP and SFTP uses SSH version 2 onwards and uses the same trusted TCP 22 port to provide the secure file transfer and now the question can be that I can use SCP then why to configure or why to learn SFTP one reason can be that up uh, Compared to SCP, SFTP allows you a hell lot of commands and a hell lot of things that is not possible in SCP. Like using SFTP, I can change the permission of the files, I can change ownership of the files, I can remove the files, I can resume the download, etc. These things are not possible in uh, SCP environment. And I, we highly recommend that if the idea is just to allow him to download the files and you don't want him, him to give the shell. So it is recommended that you configure SFTP. It is recommended when you don't want to give users the shell but still wants the security of SSH for the file transfer. Means I don't want to use FTP. So why not use SFTP? And we have got a couple of uh, like the GUI tools available here from the from, uh, from the client side like FileZilla, JFTP, Putty. But you will be using all these tools only when you don't like the CLI. So first, let's see the benefits of SFTP. For this particular practical, I have my trusted virtual machine here. Here it is. It's a RHEL 6 machine. This will be acting as my server and my Ubuntu machine, my laptop will be acting as my client. So I'll be showing you the lab like this. Oh, just close this much better. So here I have a user here, Alok. If I show you here, cat etc password and I can grab Alok. So Alok is a user here. So what I do here and it has got the home directory of home Alok. Fine enough, fair enough. So what I do here. I go here on the client side I just give SFTP and I, I hope it's visible for you, for you though I can use FTP like I can give like this FTP 192.168.0.254 sorry the IP is 50 okay it is my beautiful banner of FTP I can give my logon name I can give my password and I am successfully logged in uh, though I can use FTP to transfer the files but I will not be using it so better say bye to the donkey and bye to the FTP okay now what I can do is that I can use SFTP instead of FTP I use SFTP give my logon name and the host on which I'm going to hit 50 that's great I give my specific password here it is now I am connected to my rel machine using the the sftp i can give the dir command here i can give ls hyphen l command here ls hyphen l and see the, all the files i'll just show you one small uh, benefit of using the sftp is that if you you can see there there's a file there test.spec what i can do i can give ch and the current permissions are 
six six four. I can give say six zero zero test dot spec. Changing mode that is done. So if I again give ls hyphen l, you can see there the permission has been changed. Let me make it slightly smaller. That's it. That makes sense. Look earlier it was six six four. Now it is coming up six zero zero. Now these. I'm I'm just giving you one one example. These kinds of things are the benefits or the facilities. Though those are available with the SFTP, not with the SCP commands. So you need to learn more. You need to dig more. And I can like simply use the get command. I say get, say test dot spec. Enter. It is being fetched. So I give a quit here. And if I give a ll here, I've got a test dot spec file somewhere here. Here it is. It is being downloaded, and when I had used the SFTP to download the files, I can be sure, or you can be sure, that everything that you are doing over the wire is totally encrypted. That makes sense. But there is one issue now. So, if if I just go out here again, sorry. Here it is. If I just go out here again and I give my password here, just a moment. Let. That's great. I'm connecting here, no issues. But the problem is that I, my job is just to download the files or upload the files. But there is one default problem or the default configuration is that the user can browse anywhere in the server, which is what I don't like. Means he can go to etc and download any of the conf files. And what is the security? So might be you want him to be restricted to his home directory. So that we say that we want to configure the the SFTP in a CH root environment, in a jailed environment. So let's see how to do that. For that, you need to do a couple of steps. Now these steps has to be done on the server. Obviously, the client will be used just to access it and just to uh, test your configurations. So what I do do here, uh, I'd already done a couple of things here. So I Create a group here. Group add. Say I give the name SFTP only. I had already created the group, so if I press enter here, it will give me a message that the group exists. That's fine. So first thing is that create a group. Name can be anything. I am using the group name SFTP only. No issues. Now create a user which need to be or which is intended to use SFTP in the jailed environment. Say I give the user name here. What can be done? Say Boris. That's great. Give him a password. Boris. I give Red Hat as the password. Red Hat. Red Hat. So a user is here. Now I want that the home directory should also be changed. And like first thing is that make this user a member of the SFTP only group. It doesn't matter whether you make it a primary membership or a secondary membership. It doesn't matter. So now, if I give cat etc group, you can see there. Just a moment, or I can do capital G also to make sure that it's visible to you here. That's great. So see here, the Boris is coming up here under the the SFTP only groups. Fine. So first thing, you created a user account. I created a user here. I give him the password and I created a group. I created a user. Assigned him the password. Make him the member of the SFTP only group. That makes sense. Now, let me create a folder. Say I give. mkdir hyphen p where dub 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 v users virtual users and say boris means this folder is intended to be the home directory of the boris that's great that's good let me go there where dub 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 v users if i see there you need to make sure that the home directory in the jailed environment the things are slightly different make sure that though it is being used by boris but you need to make sure that it that this particular folder should be owned by root 
it is slightly controversial but it's how the things works and what i do here now i go to boris i create a directory incoming means he's supposed to do everything in this particular folder and for this folder you need to make sure that the permission that the ownership is boris incoming that makes sense so means the main folder will be having the owner of root and the folder where he is allowed to download or, or upload the file should be owned by the respective users that makes sense now i can give a user mode command and change the dub 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 v users boris i change the home directory of boris that makes sense so if i give a cat etc password and i show you look the home directory is changed to boris and because he is not supposed to log in physically or he is not supposed to get the shell so it is always a better practice to assign him as been no login boris because he is not supposed to log in he is just supposed to use the facility just to upload and download the files i am not allowing him to get the shell access so that makes sense if i give show you etc password once again here you can see there like other guys he has been assigned or i can give bin false also it doesn't make any difference i can give bin false bin false boris so that will make you much more comfortable that the folder that the home directory has been changed and the shell has been revoked means he is not supposed to uh log in physically that's that is done so i'll just repeat the things first create user give password great create home directory great uh make sure owner of main directory is root that's great create one directory for the job like in my case it is incoming and make sure the owner is user in my case it is boris that's it job done and then change the home directory using user mod command that's great and assign him a bin false shell so this is the thing that you need to do just to create the environment for the user now we need to do some tweaking in my as such file now after this i go to etc ssh sorry sshd underscore config file and you, you you can search for this particular line here sub subsystem sftp usr libx open ssh here make sure you comment this line and write one line here subsystem sftp sorry and give here internal sftp and anywhere here i not normally do it at the bottom okay i'll just make a comment here like this for ch root sftp just right here match group and the name of the group sftp only in my case and give here ch root directory percentage h percentage h will automatically give them their respective home directories what we had defined in etc password and you can give here you need to give here force command say internal sftp and you can write all those options here like i can give x11 forwarding no and all these things can be done here but if if you just want to configure sftp and 
don't want to like uh, do rest of the things feel free to write these two lines only that's great make sense save and come out give a service ss hd restart that makes sense let me check if everything is working fine if you remember earlier the alok was able to browse in the whole etc see here so let me give the command again sftp alok and i oh oh sorry sorry in my case it is boris now the username is boris and i give the password red hat wow he is connected let me check ls hyphen l he is not if we look that particular folder the whole path the whole path the home directory is where www v users boris this path is actually he is shown it 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 becomes the root of this particular user and only the incoming folder which is which we had created here is appearing here and if he is trying to do cd etc he cannot do this so he is restricted to his home directory so it's a ch rooted sftp environment and if you are not comfortable with the the, the cli tools and if we had got some files here he is like free to upload and download the files all those things can be done so and you are free to put up a question mark here to read the help and the commands available at the sftp prompt so i am giving a quit here if you are if you wish you can use the gui tools also like i have got jftp i gave jftp it is the same thing go to the file connect to sftp server give the username say boris the password and click on connect look look here this is the remote connection remote connection means my sftp server here it is showing only incoming and he cannot do anything okay he can download the files here or like he goes to incoming and from his home directory home alloc it is my ubuntu machine say he select the file here and he can just send it here upload select it click here here it is look it comes here so it is inside your incoming inside incoming i have got test whatever so it's so simple it's so easy and the main benefit is that as i told you you earlier if the job requirement is just to upload and down, uh, download the files on the server securely without worrying about the vulnerabilities of ftp please feel free to use sftp and better is that if if you want to maintain the confidentiality and the security of the server configure the ch rooted environment as i had shown you in this video so i hope you like the video thank you very much god bless take care see you again soon bye